What is up guys, David here, for a quick little tutorial video. This is kind of my sequel to my video tips and tricks videos, and this is for basic video editing. Now today we're going to talk about basic editing techniques used in programs such as Sony Vegas, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, etc, etc. Now, before we start, before you ask, what do I use? I currently now use Adobe Premiere CS6, and my phone just went off, so you need to shut up. Okay, so, letting it load, letting it load. Here's all my projects, blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to click on New Project, and for now we'll just say Blah Day Blah Tutorial. Now here you're going to get a bunch of different settings for your videos. And it's going to ask you what your video rate and resolution and all that fun stuff is. Right now, if we're working with like DSLR video, like my T3i or whatnot, uh, probably, probably around Pro HD or whatever. But I'm probably going to end up changing it anyway, but we'll get to that. Alright, letting it boot up. Okay, now here's your basic interface. Right here under blah day blah tutorial is where your video clips are going to be. Now after you have your video clips on your computer, this here is my external hard drive with uh, most of my video work. See I have all my raw footage here and say here's East Coast Honda Meet. Now I organize all of my video files. I w it was a two day period when I shot this video. So I organize it. Here's all the raw footage from that day on day one. So say we just want to have, here's a clip of Noel getting in his beautiful, beautiful blue Honda hatch. So we'll drag that in. You can either drag your clips into here or you can go to up here and select import. And when you click on import, you can go find the file. So here's my clip of Noel and his hatch, and me being stupid, all that fun stuff. Now, if you notice, editing, unlike many people know, is frame by frame. It's not like you hit a magic button and it's done. You have to find a point where you want to start, and you want to find a point where you want to stop. Now to take this totally raw footage clip, and have a just have one part you're gonna have in and out points now in and out points is like I said it's where the clip starts and where it ends so say we want me to start when I'm about to make the peace sign so I'm gonna hit on my keyboard I'm gonna hit I now I'll just play it along play it along play it along and say I want me to stop right when I'm looking over I'm gonna hit O for out so I for in O for out. Now, once you're satisfied with your in and out points on this clip, you take it and you put it in your timeline. Your timeline is basically where all the magic happens, where your audio is messed with, where basically everything comes together. Now, like I said earlier, I didn't really, I just clicked a random setting for my project settings, but now I dragged and dropped in my actual raw footage. Now, Premiere is detecting that I might need to change the sequence settings to the type of footage or type of file type I have. So I'm gonna say change sequence settings. That might not always happen, but I always do anyway, just to go with the programs, you know, go with the flow. So now we have our video clip in the timeline. Now, but the thing is, is yeah, this is pretty boring, right? You know, it's just me doing a peace sign. We're going to delete that. Why are we going to delete that? Because of workflow. Now, what I say about workflow, we're going to go to a big question I get. Music. Music is so important for editing. The reason it's so important for editing is because of your flow and it sets the tone and the mood. Tone and mood are extremely important. Now what we're going to do is look at these. Okay, this is where I get all of my music. 
AudioNetwork.com, it's a website I learned about while I was in film school. AudioPad is a YouTube channel. Just type in AudioPad. And my most commonly used music channel is Freebie FM or Royal Tracks. They used to be Freebie FM, now they are called Royal Tracks. Fantastic YouTube channel. So right here is the website I'm on all freaking day. Royal Tracks. So like I already have it searched. Royal Tracks. And here is all these music tracks. The guy who runs it is awesome. He really helps me out with these videos. And he helps other artists out as well. They mostly have, you know, kind of dubstep, electronic. But also they have other genres such as, you know, calm and chill. So what I mean by that is let's go into my, here's all my music I have right now from them. So when you're picking your mood for your video, you want to pick the right mood of a tone for your song. Or other way around, excuse me. So obviously here is Grooves Chill by Dr. Box. Okay. You understand? Would you put that on a really intense and upbeat kind of video or what mood you're going for? Probably not. This song you would probably just kind of, you know, have something relaxing or cruising or just something ambient. If you but if we scroll down and here's Creep, it's excuse me, it's all right by Creep or Crep, I apologize if I got your name wrong. You know, it's totally it's totally happy and upbeat. I used it for my Mustang Week uh, video that I shot about a month ago or two. The reason I picked that song is because, you know, I was at the beach, I was on Myrtle Beach, and I wanted a happy, upbeat car meet, you know, that you're just enjoying the sun and enjoying the, just your vacation at the beach. So... Let's say, we'll just pick a random track. Let's just say, we'll just use Baby Come Back, which I use in my Porsche video. Here's your music, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, in and out points. Like, say you want it to go from here to here. Take it, boom. Now here's your music track. Blah, 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 it's in your timeline. It's in your audio track. It should be in audio one, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so my workflow used to be about maybe a year ago. I used to do all my cutting and clipping first, you know, and I just say it's, say it's multiple, you know, clips or whatever. Here, and then I just, oh, let's take away the audio real quick. Which is, by the way, if you want to take away audio, it's you hold down Option and you click that and hold Command as well. Uh, nope, sorry. Option and Shift if you just want to get rid of the audio. Sorry, pet peeve. Skip something. Okay, so let's put it, so, or you can just, you know, click and drag. Nope, that doesn't work either. So Option, click and drag. Okay, I'm rambling. I apologize. Okay, so... When it comes to workflow, I used to do all the cut and clipping first, then I just slapped a music track on it and hope for the best. However, I realized it's better, like I said, to pick your music first. If you pick your music first, you can edit to the beat of the song and get a good flow. So, let's take away this and let the music play a little bit. What is okay? Uh, take away this guy's intro, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Good grace. He keeps talking. Okay. See right here. See right here. You see where the beat is going? And when it peaks, that's usually like a drum hit. That's what I usually use as a signal to put a cut on or a clip on. And editing is, I know it's a very like cop out answer. It's very much about feel. It's very much, you know. I think this is going to work, or I hope it's going to work, and then it's, you know, tweaking later. So, let's find... Dun, 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 dun. And it's probably going to hit a drum right there. So, ba -da 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 -da. And get rid of the audio. So, boom. 
and then your instinct tells you there's going to be another beat, you know, next. So let's just cut to here. See, just like that, very simple. You know, it's all about go with the flow. It's kind of, it's almost like DJs. You know, they they look at downbeats and they look at opportunities for change. And editing, a lot of it is just looking for that next cut and looking for that flow and making it feel natural. And that's pretty much it. A lot of people make editing very complicated, but you know, when it comes down to very simple cut and clip editing, this is probably the easiest way to do it. If you're not doing special effects and crazy stuff, you know, it. It's fairly simple just to throw a video together as long as you have the time and the patience. It's very tedious work and it's hard work. So don't get discouraged and take it easy guys. I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you all later. Take it easy.